Hi, welcome to Stretch and Recover. Today we are going to go over some drills that you can do prior to working 360s or on your rest day or recovery to increasing your range of motion uh, in order to do your 360s. When we do the 360s, we are bringing our arms up and we're bringing our elbows beside our head. So a good test to see if you need to do this is if you can do that. So a lot of us are stuck in this forward tight position. Um, we're limited by a tight chest or tight lat tricep area here. Um, and our lats go all the way down our back. So you may even have some um, tight rotation uh, through that lower rib cage area. Um, so we're just gonna uh, do a couple drills. Uh, if they feel good for you and you feel like you can uh, do your 360s better and get in that range, I highly recommend doing these on a regular basis until you feel like you've increased your range of motion. So uh, for your drills today, we are just going to start with uh, reaching our hand up and overhead. We are going to stretch our side body here. So without moving, I want you to reach your arm as high as you can. Think about lengthening through this side body and try to keep your hand right beside your ear if possible. So you're gonna inhale and then exhale. You're going to really try to relax and stretch this side. You're gonna slowly start to tip to the side here. So inhale, reach your hand, exhale, and let it relax. If it helps, you can take the opposite hand. We'll do one here. You can use it as a little bit of leverage. Don't yank your arm too hard, but you're gonna inhale, pull just a little bit, exhale, and pull. On your next inhale, you're gonna to start to look towards the ground. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, you're gonna rotate. And start to lean forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rotate. You should start to feel it in the back of the rib cage. Inhale, and exhale. back to standing. Okay, other side, reaching up. So we want to start by setting that stance. So nice and straight, straight arm behind the side or ear. Inhale, reach, exhale, lean. Inhale, reach, exhale, relax. Good, if you're ready, you can take that hand, inhale. Pull just a little bit, get that length, exhale. Try to relax the tissue. Start to look towards the ground now, inhale. Reach, exhale, rotate. small shoulder rolls here. I'm gonna open through the chest. You're gonna find a wall, okay? So whatever works for you, you're going to stand against your wall and you're gonna take your arms straight up overhead. So your hand is going to be nice and uh, tight to the wall. If this is too much for you, you're going to step away from the wall. But the closer you can be to the wall, the better. You're gonna lengthen and reach up as high as you can. Settle in here. On your inhale, you're gonna push your hand into the wall. And on your exhale, you relax. Now you're gonna walk that hand back just a little bit. You're gonna inhale and push. Exhale and relax. You're gonna walk it back a bit. Inhale, push your hand into the wall. Activate through the 
chest. Exhale. And relax. Try not to let your hips turn. Keep everything nice and straightforward. This starts to get super challenging. Inhale, push into the wall. Exhale. Relax. Remember, you can walk away from the wall as well. Inhale, push. Exhale, relax. Walk it down. Keep that chest nice and proud. Inhale, push. Exhale, relax. If you do not have this range of motion, stay at the top. Work there. Inhale, push. Exhale, relax. Remember, we're just starting to increase your mobility. So you may not be able to do this. Inhale, push. Exhale, relax. Or you can step away from the wall and, and it can definitely help. And then you're going to bring all the way down and around. Okay, other side. Arms straight up. Stacking everything. Wall. Inhale, push. Exhale, relax. Walk it back. Inhale, push. Exhale, relax. Inhale, push. Exhale, relax. Walk it back. Your hips forward, chest proud. Inhale, push. Exhale, relax. Inhale, push. Exhale, relax. Inhale, push. Exhale, relax. When you relax, think about letting what you feel tight, release and let go. Inhale, push. Exhale, relax. Good, and then you can bring it all the way down and around. A couple shoulder rolls here, so that's really tight, especially if you work it regularly or sit at a desk or anything that pulls your shoulders forward. Chest is generally a limiting factor to getting your arms beside your head, so see if that changed at all there, okay? Um, and then you can practice that. We're going to come down for two torso rotations just to mobilize the lats and then I want you to practice uh, and see if you have more range of motion. So we're here, tabletop position. What you're going to do is take your palm of your hand to the back of your head. You're going to take your elbow to the opposite hand. Okay? Inhale, exhale, you're going to let your head be heavy and just fall into your hand as it rotates and pulls this really tense area behind your armpit and really tries to open it up. Inhale and exhale, you're looking towards the roof. And on every exhale, see if you can just lean a little bit more into that hand. Take a minute here just to see if you can think about letting go. I feel the rotation all the way to my hips. Good, slowly coming up from there. You're gonna take your hand, your arm is gonna go straight going to touch your opposite knee and you're going to slide it down so that we can pin our shoulder to the ground. Okay? You are going to rest your head on the floor now and you're going to really try to get your shoulder blade to pull off of your rib cage as you just rotate. So you're pinning that arm. Inhale, exhale. Release and relax, but really think about getting that tissue to move around your shoulder blade. And 
and stretch right in that area. Try to think about letting go. Let that arm melt into the floor. Let the tissues in your torso rotate and release. And then coming up. Okay? You are going to take your opposite hand. So palm to the back of the head. You're going to bring your elbow to your hand. Inhale. And exhale. Knee. Your head becomes heavy and it starts to be your leverage on your shoulder. So it's creating more of a stretch for you as it pins this arm down and you continue to rotate. Obviously don't push it further and then you can go. The tissue takes some time to release and relax. Use your inhales and your exhales just to release and let go. Slowly come out of that, swooping that arm down. Okay, nice and straight. Now your shoulder comes to the ground and your head rests on the floor. Inhale, exhale. You start to pin that shoulder and rotate through the torso. shins are going to be on the ground, your knees are nice and wide, and you're going to let your bum sit into your heels. As you melt into the ground, what our goal uh, for today is, is to stretch through our chest and our side body here just a little bit more. So less of a focus on the lower back, but of course this is always an extra bonus just to feel it through the lower back so you can kind of wiggle side to side. Remember your lats attach down onto your pelvis, so it's not a bad idea to mobilize this lower back. Sometimes tight lats can actually cause that lower back to not move uh, the way you'd like to or to create tension or pain in our lower back, so this is a really great stretch. Inhale, exhale, you want to creep your fingers forward, so we're creating this long line, okay? Your arms are our focus, driving forward, so opposition, fingertips forward, tailbone back towards our heels. We're going to take a deep breath here, and we're going to exhale, and we're going to just let our upper body melt into the floor. See if you can let your head come closer and closer to the floor as your shoulders open up, which is our goal here. If it feels good, you can let your forehead rest on the floor. And if you want a little more chest opener, you can look up, bringing your chin to the floor. Just slowly come up, but we're not going to come all the way up. What I want you to do is walk your left hand out just a little bit further. And you're going to bring your right hand over and you're going to put it underneath of your left palm. So your left hand is pinning down your right hand. Okay. Inhale, you're going to exhale and you're going to fall. So our goal here and our focus is the right 
lat, okay? Left pins the right, and you are stretching through the right lat, armpit, tricep, rib cage, lateral line, <laughs> all of the things, side body. Inhale, exhale, melt. Coming up from that, walking the other side. Right goes wide, left comes over, right hand pins left, inhale, exhale, fall. Melt and let that tension release, okay? One side might feel a little tighter, my left is always stuck more, so you can see it's up off the ground. And I'm just going to move it a little bit to see if I can get it to let go. Never be afraid to move. It's a nice like internal uh, massage. Something could be stuck there and you're just saying, hey, it's cool. Just let go. Can rest if you need to. Relax the tension. And when you're ready, you can slowly make your way back up. How you feel there? A couple shoulder rolls. Whatever can kind of settle back into place. Probably wouldn't go and swing your heaviest mate right off of the hop here, um, but you could definitely try uh, your range of motion. You could try some halos. Um, you can definitely see. Uh, if that feels more fluid, even just bringing your hands or your elbows beside your head, see how that feels. Doing that regularly will absolutely help, okay? So try that out, let me know. Uh, take your range of motion picture today and then do that drill. And in a couple weeks, take your range of motion picture, see if it helps. I bet you even just that one session improved your range. Uh, let me know uh, and I hope that it helps and you have a really great day. Reach out if you have any more questions.